This nugget is on heart rate graphs. Here is a graph showing the heart rate of someone before, during and after exercise. We can see that before this person starts exercising, their heart rate is at resting. This is represented by the flat horizontal line at the start of the graph. Just before exercise starts, you will notice that the heart rate increases slightly from resting. This is called an anticipatory rise. Heart rate increases prior to exercise due to adrenaline being released as the mind knows the body is about to start exercising. We can see on the graph that exercise starts where the heart rate begins to increase at a rapid rate. Heart rate is much higher during the exercise, which is represented by the rapid increase on the graph. Can you think why does exercise increase heart rate? We can see that the exercise has stopped where the heart rate begins to rapidly decrease. After exercise has stopped, the graph shows a rapid decline in heart rate. This is known as the recovery rate. This shows how fast the heart rate returns back to resting. A quicker recovery rate or steeper line on the graph shows a fitter heart. When the heart rate returns back to rest, it plateaus out. Here is a graph showing the heart rate of Miss Red and Miss Blue. This is their heart rate before, during and after participating in the same exercise. Miss Red and Miss Blue both take part in a workout class. Miss Red's heart rate is represented by the red line on the graph and Miss Blue's heart rate is represented by the blue line on the graph. They work at the same intensity throughout the class. Consider this question. Using the data on the graph, justify who is the fittest. We can see from the graph that Miss Red has a lower resting heart rate. Therefore, this suggests she has a stronger heart. We can also see on the graph that during exercise, Miss Red's heart rate is lower. Therefore, she has a lower working heart rate. This means her heart is able to pump the required amount of blood around the body with less beats compared to Miss Blue. Miss Red's recovery rate is quicker back to her resting heart rate, therefore suggesting she can recover from intense exercise quicker. Here is a graph showing the heart rate of Mr Pink and Mr Green. This is their heart rate before, during and after participating in different physical activities. Mr Pink's heart rate is represented by the pink line on the graph and Mr Green's heart rate is represented by the green line on the graph. Consider this question. Using the data, justify who is participating at a higher intensity. Despite having very similar resting heart rates, during exercise, Mr Pink's heart rate is greater than Mr Green's heart rate, suggesting Mr Pink is working at a higher intensity than Mr Green. In summary, this graph shows the heart rate of a person before, during and after completing exercise. Before and after exercise, we can see the resting heart rate with the horizontal flat line. The anticipatory rise happens just before exercise as adrenaline is released when a person knows they are about to exercise. The point at which the heart rate raises rapidly is where exercise begins. Exercise stops at the point where the heart rate begins to decrease rapidly. The rapid decrease is the recovery rate. This is the time it takes for the working heart rate to get back to resting. Our keywords. Heart rate is the number of times the heart beats per minute. Resting heart rate is the number of times the heart beats at rest. The anticipatory rise. Heart rate increases prior to exercise due to adrenaline being released as the mind knows the body is about to start exercising. Recovery rate is the amount of time it takes the heart rate to return back to resting after exercise. And intensity is how hard an athlete exercises.